Welcome everyone to my channel. I wanted to go over something that has been plaguing me for a long time and I wanted to show other people the issue that I'm running into and maybe also have 3D Vista extend the functionality for the loading screens. Because right now it just seems we have very limited abilities uh, as far as what skins and stuff when, you know, normally over here on the skin menu area we have all kinds of additional features and widths and sizes where we can adjust where elements are going which is awesome you know and then we have the mobile version of that but when it comes to the mobile version of your loading screen that's kind of where a lot of things fall apart in this basic interface and I'll go ahead and show you what I'm talking about and then show you how I go about fixing this uh, problem so let's just kind of see what it looks like in general. So we'll go to we'll preview this. So here we go. Doesn't look too bad in the desktop. I'll hit F12 on my Chrome browser. That'll get you into the development tools. And then if you don't see it, the mobile version, you can just click on this icon, icon below. And then you can change between devices and then orientation. And something to be aware of with 3 Vista when you're doing testing is also just make sure you refresh it so it does load the mobile version because there's various CSS and media queries that are going on in, in general, especially for your skins. So here we go. Very tiny. And there is no easy way that I can see unless in this option interface that is going to fix this. So let's talk about how I built this in general so I have a background and then I have the text version and I simply created this in, in just Photoshop where you know I put my background in my image some text layers and then I exported the background by itself and then I exported basically the uh, a PNG of the text and stuff so I have two layers of that if I did it in one, like one complete layer, then we're not able to adjust the text to fit properly where right now, um, you know, it's very small. So we can hover over this, excuse me, we can hover over this little element and you can see there's a little div tag for it. And so this is great, which allows us to kind of fix this issue. So, you know, what you can do, um, you know, if you know anything about CSS, is make some small adjustments. And right now, kind of what I'm going to start with is I'm going to change the width to maybe, let's say, 98%. So that gets it bigger, fine. And then we have this right kind of thing, so um, right CSS value. So I'm going to just change that to 1%. So there we go. This is how I like it. Um, this is kind of what I would expect to see. Uh, and, you know, this is how I go about fixing that. And I'll go ahead and show you how to do that in your index file. And it's important to understand that we have two elements. We have the background right here, and then we have the image overlay. And this is kind of how I've worked around this issue with, uh, you know, having a different mobile kind of or, or fixing the mobile scale on this. You know, there's also some, some little crazy percentages and stuff like this. You know, you can fix that too and just kind of kind of keep it like a round number. So, 80. So, um, 3D Vista, if you've seen this, you know, maybe this is, could use a little bit of love in your interface and I think would save a lot of people some time, especially with more and more people going on the mobile. You know, I can view it on here and it seems to work fine on um, the landscape mode so let's go ahead and talk about how to fix this in your code so once you've generated um, your HTML or your exported your project for example you end up having uh, an index file and then in this index file is a lot of stuff related to the system but the most important part that we're talking about are these two div tags which you know you can look for preloaded container 
So you see this right here, preload container. And that has to do with the, the loading screen. And we're looking for position index, Z index position five. So that's the one we kind of want to adjust. So you want to go here and then scroll through here. I mean, can, can make this a little bit easier to read, separate it. So we've got our index five. All right, this is the one we want to do. So what changes did we make? Well, nothing here, overflow. Oh, right, you know, what's our right value? So right is 1%. So what I do is I go in here and I change this to 1%. My bottom, just kind of round this back up to uh, an even number, 12. The width is the important part. So for me, it's 98. And then the height is 80. Then I go ahead and save that. And then from there on, when you load or refresh your browser and then try it in mobile mode or, or even try it on your on your mobile device, you should kind of get that full screen for your, your graphic image graphics. So if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. Um, this is a fairly easy fix, but if you're not familiar or comfortable with editing um, HTML, this might be a little daunting for you. Ultimately, I think it would be great if 3D Vista came up with more of a mobile version or mobile options of how to do this. Oh, I also wanted to mention another kind of painful thing I had to deal with is since I brought in the second graphic, I had to like manually try to drag this and find like where the center might be. And my best guess was, you know, I saw this little dot up here. I kind of tried to align my image there. There's no like padding left or right percentages, which you get in the normal skin system. So, um, you know, if you are using a loading menu, maybe this helps you out. Maybe this helps you fix your issues with mobile. Um, and, you know, we'll go from there. Thanks for listening. Hopefully this was helpful and look for more tutorials in the future.